Hello friends, in keeping with our theme of a fearless church in a fearful world, I found it most appropriate today to talk to you about our deafening silence in the kingdom of God. Yes, that's right. The time for remaining silent as believers, as the ones that possess the most power because we have the Holy Spirit is over. God is counting on you, my friend, to stand up just like Peter in the book of Acts chapter 2, to raise your voice just like Peter did and declare that these men are not drunk. Amen. Yes, friends, you are filled with the new wine in a world that is trying to silence the truth, that is trying to kill our joy murder our peace and bury our hope how can we remain silent it's time for us to stand up even if it means just the one yes friends i have taken this stand i've raised my voice because i've come to understand that silence is not an option for us anymore that's right Wherever you are, to remember, if you remain silent, is a sign of compromise. And today's compromise will be tomorrow's captivity. Hallelujah. And I'm praying that you will not get caught up with the worldly systems and start and or even remain silent. Friends, it's our season this remnant of people that god has called in this hour in this season to stand up yes silence is not an option we have to make ourselves heard by the a world that is dying of its sin that is dying in its new age teachings that is dying with its compromise that's right, friends. Even governments are trying to shut the believers down. The church is being attacked so that we could be shut, literally. What is your stance today? Are you willing to stand up? Stand up for Jesus. That's right. Stand up for what the Bible says. Stand up for what you believe in. Friends, even in your home situation, it starts right there in your home. Yes, I speak to priests. I speak to parents. I speak to that mom out there. Your time of remaining silent and accepting what's going around you is over because the devil has got you in his clutches by remaining silent. It's time, mighty men and women of God, to stand up. Get our households back in order. Take control. Lead from the front. Walk the talk. That's right. You can't talk softly anymore. You got to scream on the mountaintops and pull your family with you. That's right. Back into our road of destiny. Mighty God and Heavenly Father, we come in no other name but of your Son, Jesus Christ. And Daddy, we repent because of our silence. When it was time for us to stand up, we stood down and remained quiet. Oh, it's okay. If I don't say anything, I'm on the fence. No friends. We didn't. By the mere fact we stayed silent was our point of compromise. And we repent again, Dad. Try us. From today onwards, we pledge with the help of the Holy Spirit that we will never again remain silent. We will stand for what we believe in that is found in the true and living, unadulterated Word of God. What's in the Bible? Thank you. From today, I pray, Daddy, that the spirit of boldness will enter our homes, enter our businesses, enter our lives. In Jesus' name. Well, friends, once again, my time's up. Until next time, this is Pastor Henry Samuels, praying that you remain touched and changed.
In Jesus' mighty name, stay blessed.